there's a million different ways to skin a cat and there's also a million different ways to store your trash this will come with a gift that's super cool should i leave that i don't know that's kind of like glue it on there right this is uh, something almost aggravating but i would rather do this than clean their trash up because i'll generally clean the trash up yeah that's what i do i throw trash i sling trash i've said this before but i'm i'm <laughs> I'm having this internal battle with the way that the way society looks at things and I've been having an issue with work lately not at work not work but just maybe the terminology and how powerful a term it is in our life because it is a very powerful word it can actually change people's moods it can change the outcome of a day week month year years decades it can change the outcome of all that and i have an issue with the way things are being listed as like what do you do for a living so in order to live and i think to live is maybe to feel alive i'm gonna do that's a self-interpretation to live is to feel alive and in order to feel alive I do not wake up and go to work slinging trash in order to feel alive. I go camping, I go fishing, I go magnet fishing, I go kayaking, canoeing, I do all of these things for a living. That's what I do for a living. So why is it that there there's obviously a negative connotation on work. Work is a negative thing. Oh, you got to go to work. Well, if nobody went to work, society would fucking flop. So there you are. You have to work. Everybody has to do some type of work. It's just the best outcome for a civilization in a society is for when everyone is productive, if they can be. And now after, after making and coming to the conclusion that no matter what, I gotta do this. Not this per se, but I have to work and until I find a way to earn an income that matches my ambition, I am just gonna, I'm gonna stop stressing about work. One thing I know I'm good at is work. I know I can do good work. I know I work hard. In most cases at a place that I have had a job, it's not because of my lack of hard work that I have been promoted. And it's not because of my lack of hard work that most of my coworkers hated me because I made them look bad. And then you work in an environment that just, ugh, right? So I know I can work hard. But I think I'm just going to stop focusing on working so hard at work and work harder on making myself happy. Work harder on making myself happy. What this means is not that I am going to work less at work. It just means that I'm going to spend less time stressing about work and the individual problems that are inside of my workday, because none of them can actually be fixed or changed until it happens. And thinking about it until it happens usually just leads to a stressful persona leading to you getting to whatever the situation is. So I'm just gonna work harder mentally on myself. I'm going to work harder mentally on making myself accountable for my actions. Like, what do I want to do outside of work? What do I want to accomplish? 
outside of work. You know, like work is such a strong, heavy word. I want to live. That's what I want to do. I want to live. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to slow down. And I mean, I'm just going to slow down in each day. Stop rushing the outcome. I know what I want. So I'm just going to slow down. I'm going to enjoy this life. Focus on my content, my health, my family. I've already got all that on lockdown. It's the... The concept of where I want to be versus where I am. So, if, if you guys have an idea about this or how you see the world when it comes to the word work, let me know. Because you can't be afraid of work, you have to do it. I have preferred and chosen now a work that I can do more autonomously. rather than the construction that I'd done for about 20 years. It just, it was too much mind and too much matter. And I mind. I did. I minded. And it mattered. And I stressed. And now I sling trash. And I'm fucking happy.